<laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to another video that's going to be really good. It's really high quality. Today, it's going to be the 2024 election prediction as of 2021, pretty much the Christmas election special. Today, we are going to be presenting Trump, Donald Trump, the great man, the most likely candidate for 2024 on the Republican side, alongside um, Josh Hawley, who's a overrated senator, by the way. And he's going to go and be a possible shortlist contender for 2024, assuming he doesn't run in the primary. And then we have Kamala Harris, um, who's going to take Joe Biden's mantle, assuming he gets more dementia, obviously. Um, has a, you know, I think Joe Biden could maybe retire in 2024 with a uh, approval rating of like 38% or something. Kamala Harris comes in with like a 42% approval rating. Um and then we have Pete Buttigieg, who has an approval rating of like 40 as well, who is homosexual, very annoying, very condescending, very out of touch as well, a complete sociopath. Um, at least Josh Hawley can pretend to not be a sociopath better. Anyways, um, the overall approval rating, by the way, I think this electorate will be like a R plus three electorate. I think that Harris and Buttigieg are going to get fucking destroyed, and I can't wait to see it. Um, anyways... Uh, we'll go ahead and just give Iowa to the Republicans safe, okay? We're also going to give Ohio safe to the Republicans, okay? We are also going to give the great state of Texas uh, to a likely Republican margin. Trends in the suburbs do still exist, but overall, um, again, these Mexicans are not going to like a gay vice president, and they're not going to like a woman president, quite frankly. And again, Harris is going to be less popular than Joe Biden was in the 2020 election, okay? So keep this in mind. Also, um... Her approval rating is lower than Joe Biden's, despite Joe Biden having dementia. And on top of that, um, the, most people don't know about her scandals, about her sucking and fucking her way up to um, California state prosecutor and all this sort of nonsense. So when that gets revealed, her clout will go even lower, too. So keep that. Yeah, just keep it in mind. The state that they're going to unfortunately win safe is probably going to be Colorado. I think Colorado is so blue. It went 14 points Democrat, I believe, in 2020. With that being said, I think that it could probably go like 10 or 11 points blue in 2024. Um, obviously, they're going to lose progress because of the fact that they have a terrible ticket and a bad administration, terrible economy and all this. But at the same time, also consider the fact that they have uh, uh, you know, such a far left trend going on in Colorado that's irreversible at this point. Then we have the great state of Mich uh, Wisconsin. That's going to be really easy to flip. I think that it'll go um, Trump and Hawley by a likely margin. Um, again, Harris and Buttigieg do not appeal to the white working class at all, or even the suburbs for that matter. With that being said, I do think that um, Trump Hawley will be able to get all of the Trump people from 2020 plus a little bit of moderate extra support. Um, we're also going to see the state of Nebraska 2nd District probably going tilt Democrat. This is because I, I'm not sure how much they're going to gerrymander it to be pro-Republican um, this year. And also the trend is fucked. And Trump lost it by like seven, I think, in 2020. So it's going to be really hard to flip it back. Unfortunately, not a big deal. We're going to win by more than one electoral vote, trust me. Um, New Mexico is going to be a state that's um, going to get close to flipping as well. Um, I think it's kind of far-fetched to say that it'll completely flip, but I think we can get it within a lean margin for the Democrats because the Hispanic vote is going to be like 40-something percent Republican in this case. And Trump's going to do even better with the white working class than he did in 2020 or 2016, for that matter, by a couple points. Keep this in mind, boys. Um, next state is going to be Florida. Florida, Florida went, uh, I think, three points Republican. I can say that Florida is probably going to go uh, like seven points Republican in this case. It's going to be likely. It's going to keep trending Republican. And overall, it's going to look really nice. Uh, and, you know, with the election reform in Florida, it's going to be tight, tight, tight. Um, I don't see them fucking it up. Now, the next state is going to be Virginia. Virginia is probably going to go, you know, despite Youngkin winning in 2021, I do see uh, Virginia going, let me think. It could probably go safe blue. I'll just go safe blue. I'll play it safe. Get it? No, because think about it. Trump lost it by like 10 points in 2020. Um, can he outperform by maybe three or four points? Yes, but keep in mind that the trend is overall Democrat still. So you could see it go like, the same result over again so like 2024 um should have should go like d plus seven but in fact it'll be more like d plus 10 so in virginia safe blue barely maybe likely best case definitely definitely not flipping though next state um north carolina north carolina went republican both times there's no way it'll go blue in 24 i think that trump will win by like upwards of six points in north carolina 
So it'll be a likely our state. I think Georgia will be one that's interesting. I think Georgia, despite it going blue like over time, I think that 2024 might be the last general election we can win there. I think that Harris and Buttigieg are terrible fits for the state. I'm pretty sure the blacks will not like a gay vice president, by the way. And, you know, Harris is a ho-ass bitch. Am I right, guys? So that being said, I think that Georgia will go uh, tilt Republican, okay? So in 2016, in an environment like that, it would go safe Republican. But in this case, um, I just see that, um, you know, the trends are pretty ferocious against the Republicans. But, again, the ticket is even worse for the Democrats. So that's going to give them the win. Now, we're at the 260 firewall, by the way, guys. We're going to go ahead and fill in the rest of the states. New Hampshire is going to be a state that's going to tilt a Republican. I see this because I see um, Josh Hawley as being palatable, and I think that Donald Trump's extremism, at least the way that people view him as independence, is like, oh, he's a Nazi. That's going to go away. And with that being said, I will I will say that um, um, in a D plus four, Trump lost New Hampshire by like six. So in a R plus three electorate, it'd be like seven points plus Trump. So in that case, it'd be like Trump plus one. So I can see Trump tilting the state of New Hampshire in his favor, uh, just barely. And overall, I would also conclude that Pennsylvania, close to New Hampshire, would also go lean Republican in this case. Um, again, these people do not, the Democrats do not appeal with their Green New Deal nonsense, their pro-gay trans agenda, their anti-life stance. It's not going to work, and their globalist position on economics is not going to work either. Uh, I see this as a lean Republican state at the very least. I could see Pennsylvania going five points Republican, quite frankly, but I'll play it safe and say it's going to go four. So lean margin. Uh, next state, Michigan. Michigan is going to go Republican as well. I'll say lean. Uh, now, there are more suburbs to contend with, but the trend overall in Michigan for Trump to win by a lot, but at the same time, um, again, he's going to get the 2016 coalition plus more. So with that being said, I do think he'll end up winning by like two or three in Michigan. Um, because it, remember, favorability ratings are going to be like negative two for Trump, positive two for Holly, maybe, negative eight for Harris, negative 10 for Buttigieg, like something like this, okay? So keep this in mind. Minnesota is a tricky state. I do think it'll go tilt Republican just because um, the only people that Harris and Buttigieg could possibly pander to would be like the people in Minneapolis, but I just don't think they're big enough of a population to really mess up uh, the, the election for Trump in Minnesota. So again, Harris and Buttigieg do not have the same appeal that Biden does, ironically enough. So that being said, we're going to go ahead and talk about Nevada. Nevada is probably going to vote um, Republican as well. I give that like a 75% chance of happening. Uh, the trend with the Hispanics are, are going to really ameliorate the immigration flooding that has been happening recently. And the suburban trend isn't going to be as brutal as well because it's a different demographic in Nevada anyway. So with that being said, I do see Nevada going lean Republican as well. I'd see Nevada going like four points Republican, maybe like three, two worst case percent. Now, Arizona, the most important state, is probably going to go uh somewhere along the lines of hold on we're gonna win maine at large by the way by a tilt margin who cares anyways wait let me let me put this tilt just so people don't nitpick now arizona is going to be a state that i see as somewhat uh close but not too close and what i what do i mean like it's not going to be a blowout safe election for trump but i mean it'll it'll be competitive but still um, Harris and Buttigieg do not appeal at all to Arizona. Trust me, the Mexicans are not going to like them, and the suburbs do not like them. So, with that being said, Trump Holly will not appeal to Arizona either. But you know, there's more of the Republican ilk in Arizona. Fortunately, thank God. So, in this case, I do see uh, again another juicy joke. Uh, let me think. Mm, so, if Trump won by three and a half in 2016. I could see Trump winning by like five or six. So, likely Arizona is decently likely. Okay, so yes, this is the 2024 election prediction. I predict Trump and Hollywood would win the popular vote by two to three points, and I see um, Harris and Buttigieg getting destroyed. In this case, Trump would get all of the 2016 support plus a little bit more independent support than he did last time, and I see Harris and Buttigieg, for the most part, just falling apart at the seams. You know, a gay vice president will not help electorally, and a whore, uh, incompetent, out-of-touch bitch like Harris will not uh, get the poor people to turn out for her like she would want them to. So in this case, I do see them underperforming Biden, which is pretty pathetic. 
but this is what the Democratic Convention has resorted to as of recently. So there you go, guys. 2024 election, Trump wins 328 electoral votes. He flips Minnesota. He flips uh, New Hampshire um, and Nevada as compared to 2016. And the margins are a little bit different as well. So there you go. Pretty good election prediction. Um, this very well could be the actual result in three years. And if I'm right, that, that, that would be insane. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gone.